most of the time, sign law is going to be your go-to. You'll find that as you do these, as you do my questions, most of the time it is actually sign law, but not always. Okay, so you have to be careful how you do that. So let's go to page 27 real quick. Uh, I will put at the top here multi steps, right? Multi, sorry, multi step questions. And I kind of alluded to this yesterday when I assigned question eight, and some of you were saying you can't solve it, right? At first, but you may have to do something before you get to the ultimate answer. Okay, so we have the two wires. And uh, you have your pair. So let's go highlight that. Okay, this is this goes with that. And I know it looks weird. This triangle looks very weird, but you do have a pair. Okay. So pair. Therefore, you must start with sign law. You cannot do anything else. Okay. So let's see what we can do. Uh, I'm just looking at my key here. Oh, yeah, we'll have enough room if we do that here. Sine of 10 over 1.25 meters. And in this case, the only thing you have is the side that is technically paired up with this angle here. Let's call it something. I don't know. Let's call it angle A so we have a reference. So sine of A over 3.7, right? You should have this in your notes just to, right? Like you got to think futuristic, right? Like you got to be like, what if I look at this months from now? And so the same thing applies. So sine of A, this is cross multiplying and dividing. I like this question because it, 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 it asks you to figure out a bunch of things. You have to have a lot of things in mind. Okay, So you figure that out. Now you're going to say angle A is equal to sine inverse of whatever this gives me. So let's go ahead and type that in. Some of you already did. So you're thinking, nah, I already did this. Why would I do it again? That's okay. Sometimes you learn something new by watching the same thing again. You watch the same movie twice. You figure out things that you didn't notice the first time, right? Um, that's 30. 0.93 degrees that's that's what I need to continue my journey okay so I'm gonna break this down and I'm gonna call this angle down here B because now that I have two angles I can find the third one so I'm gonna call that angle B so angle B is 180 minus 10 minus 30.93 And angle B ends up being 139.07, which is not the ultimate answer, but it is important, so I will underline it. And now I have, I have this angle here, which allows me to solve for this side. I'm going to call this side X, right? But it should be lowercase b, sure, whatever you want to do so sine of 10 over 1.25 that's the, the pair I already had now i'm going to use that angle i just found and there's going to be more like these down the road so uh, you'll get to practice this okay. so x is equal to 1.25 times sine of 139.07 divided by sine of 10 and x is equal to 4.72. This is the ultimate, right? This is the length of second wire, right? So that's ultimately what the question is asking for. Okay, so I could easily see this being worth four to five marks, okay? Easily. All right, so now we're starting uh, something new, finding the height of oblique triangles. So make sure you have some highlighters ready. And you have this, um, we're good? Okay. 
So uh, remember, uh, quiz and test coming up as up on the board. If you're watching this video, remember to uh, smash that like button, subscribe, hit the bell. Anyways, let's keep going. One day, one day you, you laugh, one day I'm just going to retire early and just make money off of my uh, videos. I don't think so, but hey. Um, finding the height of triangles, height of oblique triangles, okay? So this is something that I'm going to need you to know how to do, okay? It's actually not bad if you, I'm, I'm going to break it down for you. Uh, the height of the triangle is always measured. It's always measured perpendicular to the ground. What does that mean? What's that word perpendicular? At 90 degrees. That's what that means. The height is always when you measure your height, you always want to stand up nice and straight, right? 90 degrees with the ground. In other words, if you were to use a measuring tape uh, to measure the highest point, you would make sure the tape makes a 90 degree with the ground. So here's the height. Uh, at different instances. So the height is inside the triangle, but it's usually an imaginary line, guys. It's usually an imaginary dotted line. Uh, so this is inside the triangle. In this case, the height is outside the triangle because the highest point is right here. In order to measure it, you would have to go straight down and make a 90 with the ground. And here, the height is actually part of the triangle. Okay. Uh, side is equal to the high, height in this case. It's a right triangle. And this is outside, outside triangle. And in this case, it's inside triangle. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's do an example right off the bat. Can I just, um, this is important here for today's lesson. Sine of 90 degrees is always equal to 1. Okay, Keep that in mind. Sine of 90 is going to be equal to 1. And you'll see in a bit why that is relevant. So Kat and Steve are hiking in, uh, in Bugaboo Provincial Park, BC, in a Silver Basin Meadow. They follow a creek. And they are 20 meters apart. Okay, so that's important information there. Uh, it happens to be labeled already. Perfect. Uh, and on one side of the creek, they spot a pika, which is a small mammal, on the opposite side of the creek. So they're right, they're walking on this side of the creek, and they spot it across here. So they're both looking at it from different angles. Okay, so let's answer the question here. How far is cat from the pika, right? So how far is cat from the pika? Let's call that something. Uh, I'm going to call that x. The distance from, from the cat, from sorry, from the cat. From cat to pika is x, okay? Let's call that x. So let's go ahead and figure out how we're going to do that. Focus on the big triangle first. Okay, guys? You see that dashed line here? I'm trying to I'm trying to distract you a little bit. Just focus on that big triangle first. And so I will actually highlight that. I'm going to first look at this one. I have anger issues cuz I break my pencil all the time. Focus on big triangle first that's what i that's like first thing i want you to remember today when you're in the process of finding the height focus on the big one first okay so um will i give you a diagram i think i will let's do this right here i will focus on the big one right here this is pika this is Cat, and this is Steve. Let's fill in what we know, all right? 20, 17 degrees, 
36 degrees. And uh, what law will I use to get me started here? Try to find a pair first before you go cosine. Cosine, what's the only two cases that cosine works for? Side, side, side. Not a single angle. Definitely not the case. Side, angle, side. You need two sides and an angle in between. Is that the case here? No. So, it's, so think of it that way or think of it like, how can I get a pair? Is there a way of, get, of getting a pair? Andre, is there a way of getting a pair? He says yes, so I, I believe him. So I'm going to figure this out. So angle P, let's figure that out quick. 180 minus 17 minus 36. 127, thank you. That's this one right here. Boom. I'm going to write that in uh, with a different color because I like to see, hey, I figured that out first. And now you have a pair. Now you have a pair. It's sine law. It's the hidden, hidden sine law, hidden pair. I'm going to zoom in just to that side right now. And... Uh, we're asked to solve for x. And on this little triangle, x is right here. So please be careful here. It's actually, once you're at this point, you just have to be very careful. You write down your pair as always. And what are you going to put on the other side? Sine of 17 or 36? 36. Because sine law works in opposites. Okay? sine of 36 over x okay there you go and now you know what to do i hope so you're not solving for any more angles here when there are two angles it's easy to find the third and you just go to town <clears throat> okay 20 times sine of 36 divided by sine of 127 let's figure out what that is 20 times sine of 36 equals divided by sine of 127. 14.72. Yes, 14.72. And we are in meters. So let's stick with meters. What about Steve? What? How far is Steve? from that from the pika let's go over here that's the second question how far is steve steve and the mammal right so let's call that y okay. and so we can use the same diagram we're already there like why wouldn't we use right i'm just going to call this side y so i'm going to start the same way i have a pair so i'm going to start with that pair but what's going to change in this setup? Instead of sine of 36, I'm going to use sine of 17. That's right, guys. That's right. All right. Um, so you, you plug that in. And you get 7.32. Wait a minute. Why is Steve closer? Does that make sense? Let's see. Who has the biggest angle across? Right? Steve has the biggest angle across from it. So we do expect X to be longer than uh, a side that would be across from 17, right? That is expected. And the, the diagram kind of gives it away anyways. But I'm just saying... If we hadn't drawn it to scale, we should still be able to check that. So here we go. This shouldn't have been new to you, but the next part is new. Okay. How wide is the creek? It's asking for this, for W. Okay. Side W. Would you agree that that is essentially the height of the triangle? If you look at it, if you look at if you find the width, we know it's the height. How do we know, Mr. Dirksen? Because of that 90. Right? 
this is the height of that triangle. If you were to lay it down, or if you were to bring this triangle up, that is the height of the triangle. So I will say height. Right? This is the height here. Um, let's let's use uh, what should I use here? Orange. I'm gonna I'm gonna give that an orange here. It's right? side W. And I'm here to tell you guys that you have a choice. You can choose. You can cut. This is now gonna we're gonna cut this triangle. Yeah, right. And you pick which side you want. I'm gonna pick this side first. Okay, I'm gonna show you that both of them work. So I'm gonna call this triangle one and I'm gonna call this triangle two. So I will make you, give you a note here. Uh, split triangle along height. Choose one, choose one side to work with. Exclamation mark. So let's say the left hand side. So let's, I, I want you to have the sketch. So we're gonna go, let's make this one dashed so you can see that that is the height dashed. There's a 90 here. But Mr. Jackson, it was the other side where the 90 was. If one side is 90, the other one side is 90 as well, because it's 180 across the bottom, right? So 90 here. This is W. This I found is 14.72 meters. This is 20, right? I'm trying to see if you're gonna catch my mistake. This is not 20, because 20 is from end to end. They are 20 meters apart, but I'm cutting it here, right? I cannot use the 20. So all we know right now is this, this, and there's one more piece, which is this one. This is 17 degrees. That's all you have, but that's all you need. You ready for this? This is so exciting. You'll be talking to your friends, talk to everybody. You'll post it on TikTok, right? So, you guys don't seem very amused, but uh, that's okay. This is a pair, right? Sine law again. So are we forgetting about cosine law? We're not forgetting about cosine law. But for now, we're gonna go sine of 90 over 14.72 and then sine of 17 over w that is we're now well on our way to solve for w so we're going to go 14.72 times sine of 17 over right multiply divide sine of 90 what's sine of 90 again it's one. So I'll show you that that is the case. Watch. If you divide anything by one, it's just going to be itself, right? So go 14.72. Do this too, just to get the thrill of, right? So you go times, and then you're going to go divide it by sine of 90, and nothing is going to change because you're essentially just dividing it by one. Uh, so if you know that, don't just don't bother with it step, but I'm not going to get rid of it on my equation, right? So that is 4.30, 4.30. So W is 4.30 meters. And you know what? I That's the width of the creek. It's the height of the triangle. It's both. Okay. So it depends on the context. I, I want to do the other side, okay? Just for this one instance, so I'm going to do it very quick. We will get 4.3 as well. What do we know on the other side? We know that this is 7.32 meters. We know that this is 90. Uh, this would be W, right? This is the side that is shared where we cut the big triangle. 
and this one here is 36. But Mr. Jackson, it's all different numbers. How is it going to be 4.3? It just happens to work out the same way. So here is your pair. Don't underestimate the power of 90, okay? Power 97. And a sine of 90 over 7.32 meters is equal to sine of 36 over W. Oops. Camera work is slacking, eh? Probably going to get some thumbs down for that. Um, Cross multiply and divide, right? So 7.32 times sine of 36 divided by sine of 90. And what do you know? What do you know? 7.32 times sine of 36 divided by sine of 90. That's still 4.30. See that? How cool is that? Bingo, bingo. You decide what you want to do. You choose your own adventure. What did we learn? What did I just do? What did I do? What did I focus on first and foremost? Let's say I had gone straight to the height. Straight to the height. What would, it, what would you have done first? You, watch this guys, you would have focused on the big triangle first. Okay? Mm -hmm. You would have focused on the big triangle first. Try to figure out one of these slanted sides. You need to have one of these slanted sides before you find the height. So if you find that slanted side, sure, then you're done. You can actually go straight to the step where you find the height of the triangle. In this case, the question asked you to solve for both slanted sides. I did that on purpose because I wanted, to sh wanted you to see that regardless of which slanted side you found, you were still able to find your height ultimately. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're not just going to stop there. I'm not going to stop there. I'm going to ask you to try one right away. Let me see which one. And they're all a little different. Okay. So go to page 29. Go to page 29, and with everything you know so far, try to answer the questions that are uh, presented to you. I need you to read. I need you to figure out the wording. I need you to figure out what are they asking me for, okay? And then solve. And there will be the height. At the bottom will be the height. You don't have to do it in both ways. You can do one or the other. I split that flagpole in half like the triangle in half, you pick which side you want to work with, okay? So let's take a moment. You try that. Remember, attempting is uh, the first supplementary, complementary angles. Remember, guys, it doesn't matter which triangle you zoom into, that particular smaller triangle has a sum of 180 as well. You zoom into any triangle, it's 180. Zoom into that smaller one, 180, 180, 180. So just remember that. So these are the keys.